I never like to see a human or an animal suffer, but here's a snake that just got ran over and he's not doing too good. Yowzers. So I couldn't tell if that snake was a rattlesnake or not. It seemed to have the diamondback pattern and just about every snake in the world that has the diamondback pattern is venomous. Um, especially if you're in Arizona. But when I looked at its head and rattle, its tail, it didn't seem to be. Um, but I want to be extra cautious, so I'm going to drive back again. And this will probably be, probably be the closest I'll ever get to a live rattlesnake. Uh, because I would either get bitten <laughs> or it would uh, scurry away. So let me drive back and see if we can see its head and tail and figure out if it is or not. Again, I thought it had the diamond backpack. Here we go. All right, maybe it's not a diamond back pattern. I think it's dead now. But yeah, that's not a rattlesnake, but man, it sure does look like one. And anything that looks like a rattlesnake in the desert, you want to stay away from. Um, but I think he's dead now, poor guy. But speaking of rattlesnakes in Arizona, you got to be careful where you step, where you jog, where you're riding a bike, even driving, depending on what you're driving. I've heard of a rattlesnake jumping into a friend's uh, golf cart. Um, so you got to be careful all the time when it's hot here in Arizona for those snakes. So that's all, guys. Have a great day.